Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Recaps. Today I will show you action, adventure, and drama films from 2017, titled King Arthur, Legend of the Swords. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie story, it is stated that the world consisted of two humans, one of whom was human and the other of whom was a magician. The king of the magicians starts a war against ordinary humans. He uses his magical creatures, monsters, and weapons in this war. Due to it, ordinary humans can't face him, and the magician's king defeats everyone one by one. Then he faces the king Uther whose army was also about to be defeated. Uther has a magical sword and the king can't resist in front of the sword. He was defeated. His powers were nothing in front of the sword and then the war ended. After some days, Uther's brother goes against him because he wants to be the king. He makes his army attack his brother. And he knows his powers are nothing in front of the sword that his brother had. After it, his brother sacrifices his wife and changes into a demon. The king Uther has discovered all this while going with his wife and son but the night demon arrives and ends Uther's wife, the queen. Then king Uther sends his son far by making him sit in a boat. He starts fighting with the demon knight. The scene ends here and we feel like a king Uther is dead. Uther's son is shown who has reached London in a boat. A few ladies adopt him and take him to the orphan house. On another side, the brother of the king Uther has become the king and the tower was also rebuilt from where the king of the magicians used to get power, and Uther's brother also wants this power. That is why he was making the tower again. Uther's brother wasn't a magician but he has spent his life's many years with magicians. He was learning magic and likewise, 20 years have passed. His brother has become powerful and an evil king. Uther's son Arthur also has grown older. His childhood was spent among thieves and robbers so he was clever and wise. He used to help needy people and also used to do some illegal tasks. On another side, Uther's brother is shown and his tower has been completed. The stream near his castle has become dry, and his companions see a sword there. The sword was stabbed in a human-made stone. Many people were trying to take out the sword, but they couldn't. Even Uther's brother can't take it out. He summons a large number of people in his village and then asks them to try to take it out. On another side, Arthur gets into a fight and the soldiers capture Arthur and his friends. They take them to the castle and now Arthur has reached his father's castle. He doesn't remember anything and when they ask him to take out the sword he goes silently to take out the sword. As he holds the sword he was remembering his previous life, and he can also feel the power of this sword. He takes out the sword from the stone but he can't control it as it has many powers. He gets faint and now everyone has discovered that he is Uther's son Arthur. The soldiers take him into the prison. He was the third-born king and the castle and people belong to him. He has taken out the sword from the stone that has a lot of power. This news was spread everywhere and the people were happy that their real king has returned. They were against Uther's brother. Then a lady is shown who was a magician and now Uther's brother goes to Arthur in jail. He was about to bring him in front of the public and warns him to say that he isn't able to be the king and asks him to say that he can't control this sword. We will end all of your companions if you will not do this, says Uther's brother. Everyone was there to see King Arthur. And we were happy. Now he was asked to show his powers while picking up the sword. Arthur doesn't do this because he has to save his friends. King Uther's brother gives orders to end him. Meanwhile, the magical lady mage arrives and controls all the animals with her powers. She attacks the Uther's brother's army. And the other companions release Arthur and jump into the stream with the sword. They escape from there. Arthur holds the sword again and gets faint. The mage uses her powers on the sword with which she discovers Arthur doesn't remember his past. Now she decides to send Arthur to the dark land where he can remember everything about his past. 
It was a dangerous place where neither a human nor a magician could stay there. Arthur faces many creatures and monsters, but he competes with them and reaches the tower. As he reaches there the sword starts shining and Arthur remembers his past. It reveals that King Uther was losing the fight with the night demon. He tried to fight but then flew the sword in the air. He came under the sword. King Uther died and his body became stone. He has fallen into the water. Until then Arthur has also moved far in the boat, due to which Uther's brother couldn't find him and the sword at that time. After knowing all this, he learns the skills of using a sword, but he wasn't an expert. Then he returns and on the way, Mage tells him the story. She tells firstly, the magicians and humans live together calmly, but then a war started between them that was started by the King Uther's brother. He wanted to be a powerful king, and he joins with a magician. They plan to end King Uther, before he unlocks the power of the tower. He was winning the wars with the power of the tower. King Uther has broken the tower, in which there were the powers of the magician and he attached the sword with Uther's blood. It means Uther, then his son and anyone related to them will get the sword. They also say the powers of Uther's brother will increase with the increase in the size of the tower. Once the tower is completed it will become difficult to stop him with the sword. Arthur and his companions meet another family, and it was the powerful family of Britain. They have a lot of weapons and an army. Arthur makes them understand cleverly that he is ready to be the king. Now they discover that Arthur is the king, and their target was to stop the tower from being completed. Some of Arthur's companions move to the ship on which there was the raw material of the tower. They destroy and block the path. Later, they set the castle of Uther's brother on fire in the city. Arthur plans to end his father's brother. This was just a trap for Arthur because Uther's brother had already discovered that he would be killed. That's why he has sent a human like him on the ship. A man was about to shoot an arrow at him and Arthur stops him but, he shot the arrow and the special commander of Uther's brother died. There was hustle and bustle due to it and everyone was running here and there. The guards were chasing him and were thrashing mage. Arthur picks up the sword while seeing this and ends everyone in a single jerk. King Uther's brother holds a companion of Arthur and ends him in front of him. Arthur leaves his companions in a safe place while taking them into a boat. Arthur becomes sad about this incident. He has lost his friend and throws the sword in the water after being infuriated. Meanwhile, the Lady of the Lake holds the sword. It is the fairy who lives in the water. It holds the sword and takes Arthur into the water while holding his hand. The fairy shows Arthur a glimpse of his future. What will happen if he will not end his father's brother while using this sword's powers? The world will be destroyed, and the fairy asks him to trust mage and the sword, and she hands him the sword. Arthur comes out of this vision and meets a few men. They tell Arthur everyone is liking you. Many people are supporting you. They want you to be the king and the army has attacked his companions. There was a commander who said we still have you and mage's companions. They will end them if Arthur will not surrender. After thinking, Arthur sends his sword to his father's brother and says he will come to meet after a few days. Uther's brother was considering that Arthur doesn't have a sword now. So he can't harm him, and leaves Mage and she performs protective magic on Arthur. Arthur goes to meet his father's brother and has reached his father's castle. Uther's brother was about to end Arthur with his sword. There was Mage's plan and she controlled the snakes and eagles through her magic. She sends a snake to Uther's brother and it attacks him but to escape the hits the sword on the snake. The sword is now stuck in a pillar, and only Arthur can extract it. Mage has controlled massive snakes with her powers. The snakes were attacking the castle and the army of Arthur also attacked the castle. Uther's brother was thinking he would be defeated so he again moved into the cave. He is called Demon Knight there and becomes Demon Knight, 
Now, Arthur comes out with the sword. The guards and the black masks attack Arthur, but he ends everyone with his sword's power one by one. The people who have left have surrendered in front of Arthur. His father's brother has become demonic and was also powerful, and he was dominant over Arthur and attacked Arthur like he had ended Uther. Now he gets faint, and he says the same line to Arthur as he said to his father's brother Uther. Perhaps the sword belongs to me, says Arthur, recalling his father's fight with his brother. He becomes furious while seeing this vision. Arthur discovers that if he wants to use the sword he has to do his job calmly. He has to control his anger and he has understood everything after this vision. He has controlled his anger and now is using the sword nicely. His sword starts shining and there was a fight with Arthur again, but he was attacked repeatedly and his weapon breaks. Uther's brother comes to a normal human getup because of being hit by the sword. He dies there and Arthur breaks the tower with the help of the power of this sword. Everything has become normal and Arthur has become the king now. He shows his sword to everyone from a distance and everyone becomes happy. On the other hand, Mage was seeing this from a distance. Her mission was completed and she had delivered the sword to its rightful owner. Here the movie ends. Hope you like it.